The Panama Canal, the path that changed international trade. Today, the waterway is preparing to deliver the expanded Panama Canal. A third lane is built for the transit of large new Panamax vessels, while the navigational channels are deepened and widened. 2015 is a decisive year for this expansion. With most of the job already done, the undertaking enters its final leg. The third set of locks, the expansion's most comprehensive project, is now focused in the electromechanical installation that will take the project to completion. The installation of its 16 rolling gates began in December 2014 with their insertion into the lockheads at the Atlantic and Pacific complexes. The 152 valves required to control the water flow as part of the filling and emptying system are already installed. The construction of 32 buildings continues after the 4.4 million cubic meters of structural concrete were poured. The water saving basins which will allow 7% less water usage than the current locks, are clearly defined. Three dams were being built at the north end of the new Pacific locks. They will contain the water of the new channel that will operate 9 meters above the level of the existing one. The flooding of the new locks began this year, marking the start of the commissioning and testing period. The linking of the new locks in Kokoli and the Pacific Ocean took place in August with the removal of the south plug. The same operation is being conducted at the Atlantic site, linking the Caribbean Sea with the new Agua Clara locks. In the Pacific Access Channel, a few meters from the lock dams, lies another important structure of the expanded canal. Borinquen 1E, a 2.3 kilometer long earth dam located west of Pedro Miguel Locks. It will work as a barrier between the current navigation channel and the access to the third set of locks. This new access, known as the Pacific Access Channel, will be 9 meters higher than Miraflores Lake. 50 million cubic meters of dirt and rock were excavated from the entrance of the Culebra Cut to the new locks to create a new navigation channel. The flooding of this new channel began in September. It will contain approximately 19 million cubic meters of water from Gatun Lake. Culebra Cut, the historical 13 kilometer long strip, has been deepened to meet the requirements of larger ships. A similar task is being carried out in Gatun Lake, which was the largest artificial lake at the time of its creation. Its navigational course is being widened and deepened by Panama Canal dredging forces. To ensure safe and expedite navigation, a total of 33 range towers have been erected to lead vessels during their transit. Gatun Lake's maximum operating level is being raised 45 centimeters to improve water supply for the expanded canal operations. This will add nearly 200 million cubic meters of water to its reservoir. Seven years have passed since the inauguration of the Panama Canal expansion program and it continues forward at full speed. The countdown for the culmination of the expanded canal is on, where every component, every cubic meter of concrete, of excavated and dredged rock, bring the flagship project of this young nation closer to successful completion. A century after its inauguration, the Panama Canal gives the world a wider path between the seas. <laughs>